OK, so now we're going to look at f of x equals ln of x, natural log of x. So let's have a look at what it looks like first, and then let's start applying transformations to it. So ln of x has a vertical asymptote at x equals 0, and looks like this. So it's always increasing, but it kind of like gets slower and slower and slower at increasing, but always still is. It crosses through 1 on the x-axis, okay, and that's the curve that we'll be looking at. So if I want to translate this by the vector 3, 0, I want to shift it three steps to the right, it'll now be going through 4. So also because of that, um, if I moved the whole curve three steps to the right, then the um, asymptote will move with it. So it was at x is 0, it will now be at x is 3. So let's give myself a little bit more room, I think. OK, so there's my new asymptote. So the curve will do something like this, going through 4 on the x-axis. So the whole curve shifts three steps to the right, so does the asymptote, and draw it in, OK? Now, as for the equation, that would be ln of x minus 3. The x is replaced with x minus 3, so that x is replaced with x minus 3. Now, as for f of x plus 2... OK, there's my original curve. So if I was to translate this by the vector 0, 2, it's going to move everything up two spaces. That wasn't very good. Not having much luck with this. Let's try that again. OK. Now, it still has that asymptote at the y-axis. Where is it crossing um, the x-axis? Well, if we think of the equation, that's ln of x plus 2, we would want um, y to be 0. So 0 equals ln x plus 2. So ln x must be minus 2. And to go from a logarithmic equation to the exponential equation, x would have to be e to the minus 2. So that's e to the minus 2 at that point there. OK? And that's how we can translate it vertically upwards. OK, right. Next up, we've got a stretch, a factor a half in the x direction. So there's my original curve. So all of the x coordinates now get halved. So now we'll be going through a half on the uh, x axis, but every single point will have its x coordinate halved. Okay? Um, and that's kind of what the curve would look like. So this would be ln of 2x. Half f of x, so a stretch factor of half parallel to the y-axis. So every single point will have its y coordinate halved, so it would look something like this. It's still going to go through 1. This is where it's getting a little bit more fiddly. OK, something like that. So that every y coordinate will be halved. OK, and that will be 1 half ln of x. Now, if you're knowing your log laws at this point, then that's ln of x to the half, or ln of root x. OK? These are the same. 
Right. F of minus x, so a stretch, uh, sorry, a reflection parallel to our axis, so y-axis in this case. So reflection in the y-axis. Here's my original curve. So our new curve will look like this. Go through minus 1. So this is ln of minus x. OK? Um, and that's how we would sketch it. Then finally, we've got minus f of x. Now, there's my original. This is a reflection in the x-axis. So our curve will look something. Didn't quite get that right. A bit more like that. Okay, still going through one, but this is what the shape of the curve would look like in order to be a reflection in the x axis. Okay, so every single y coordinate has changed sign. Okay, and that's how we can transform ln of x.